I want to do a, um, a records request for what you had for lunch because that bathroom smells right, bro. You dropped a serious dookie. <laughs> Thanks for your service. This is a uh, 702 AU, and right there is accountability for all. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing good. I love the mustache. Oh, that's nice. Do you have the wrangler smoke in there? Yeah, you smell it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, luckily it didn't spray me, but the. Uh, I was going to walk by and I smelled it. I was like, I know that. My dog's got hit before. Yeah, even being in the vicinity, I still smell like it. Oh, that. man. Kind of so, ruins the day. <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. I'm so yeah. Is it a weed or a skunk? Yeah. Very much. Have, Have a good, good day. Yep. Yeah. 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 And the old lady next door lost her mind. <laughs> Pretty much. There's some other things I'm doing, but you're good. You don't have to get up or anything. We're just checking in on our uh, I got this, city officials. I got this new extender pole, so I'm just trying out the 360. Just that way I can get like a good layout. Thank you. Have a good day. incorrect this is the town of Rowley this is the selectman's office select person? I work in this office. Mm -hmm. okay. What's your name? Roseman. Ralph Rally was uh, incorporated in 1639. Nice. Yes, he is. Yes. Excuse me. No, no, nothing you can help me with. I'm just taking uh, some videos over here. Okay. Thank you. It's good to, to use this in a place with high ceilings. Because mm -hmm. you can really get a good layout of the room and kind of see how everything's mapped out, and you get a much better view of like what's on the desks and stuff. I've got one on order. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to have. I mean, it's 
And it's just, it gives you a great panoramic view. Okay. I still want to be in your shot. Sorry. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Look. Get out of your way. Treasure and Collector's Office for the City. And this is the Assessor's Office for Rally. Is that another person that needs some butt, butt hurt cream? I got a little tood. <laughs> a little tood going on. Well, that's not good. This is uh, where this nice black commemorating a hundred years of Rally Town Hall. This nice little bronze black. This is where you uh, get is to pay your taxes. Isn't that great? Yeah, I don't so know about you, but I don't like paying taxes either. Sean M. McFadden, who is the principal assessor. Oh, did the Slickman's office close the door? No, it was closed when I walked in. Oh. That's perfect. And I can kind of do my business and leave my camera there. Mm hmm. How's the tripod view? It is awesome. Does it look good? Is it yes. Something? Yes. It makes me jealous. I want one of those. Well, I mean, the, the higher it gets, the more it kind of sways and like a little bit. But if you're inside, it's usually pretty good. It keeps a nice, like, steady, steady frame. Mm hmm. I haven't really tried it out inside yet. This guy's name is what here? McFadden. He's the principal assessor. He went down this way. Looks like a ton of nurses there. Boy, the floors like to creak. Anytime you guys want to read any of this stuff, you can always pause it and you can see all this. These guys have really learned a lot, boy. When they don't want somebody going in places, they really lock it down. He needs an emotional support elephant. Yes, I agree. Here we go. 
This guy's a gopher. You should go for another job. Make a potty. <laughs> Crazy how government officials or city officials don't like acknowledging people. Great look. That's a perfect look. Especially when you're not from here. You know, you're not from Massachusetts. You know, it, it just doesn't send the right message. Man, you can't sneak up on anybody with this creek. Hey, Sean, I just need to do a records request with you, man. Okay. Verbal one's fine. I can do. I have the right to do them in individual office. Yeah, I just told you I'm gonna give you a verbal records request. What would you like? I have the right to give it to a specific. What would you like? I want to do a, um, a records request for what you had for lunch because that bathroom smells right, bro. You dropped a serious dookie. <laughs> Thanks for your service. Oh my goodness. Thank you. For How about them apples, guys? <laughs> that, that's how it works. If you're nice to us, we're nice, we're in and out. Like these ladies, all the other officers are very nice. We're nice to them, we're in and out. Um, this guy, Sean, wanted to be a, a turd monkey, so he got the business and I was going to have a rough day. Okay, we want to apologize for being rude before I find the house file from that. Very, very kind. Very, very nice. Um, and I, I am going to file a formal complaint with Sean. If you'd like to apologize for his behavior, I want to give him that opportunity before I file a complaint. And then I show up at all the town meetings and you know I, I go for his job. So I do normally offer that uh, to people, an apology or a job. So if you want to apologize, you can. If not, then I can just fill out the complaint and go that route. It's up to you. How are you looking to file a complaint? By email? Well, I can file it in person if he doesn't want to apologize. That's fine. Do you want a piece of paper? Or sure. What are you yeah. looking for? A piece of paper, paper and a pen is fine, yeah. Okay. Did you want to know what he did? or? Okay. Usually at that point, people say, well, thank you. Well, what is it was that he did? Well, then we would be comment to this document. Uh, so I can take a note if you no, want. Yeah, so to yeah that's good. You can apologize for his attitude, saying I'm in a whole lot of trouble, or I could show up to every single select meeting, town meeting. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you leave a note, we can give it to this one. If you put contact information on the list. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Excuse me.
sometimes they want to save their job. I will say, there's not a person I've made this offer to where I didn't come through and take that job. The town meetings, they just get sick and tired of me showing up, so they just can the guy. That's what's happened so far. Oh, I Good morning. Or afternoon, sorry. Live stream it and you know the town can be redressed. It's up to you, Sean. What would you like to do? For for your attitude, for being short, and for just being a prick right off the bat. Okay. I'm sorry for my Hey, can you come out and apologize to me and hear it through a wall? I'm sorry for my approach. I guess I was a little hush. Okay, perfect. Because I, you can ask everyone else. I was nice to every other office. Okay. And in the future, that's how I do things. Okay. It's a clean slate. I come in. I'm nice. You're nice to me. No problems. Okay. Okay? All right. Yeah, okay, then I'll leave this with you. You can trash it so that way okay. it never gets filed. Okay. Fair enough. Great. Have a good day. You too. I won't be filing. Next time when someone says I have a complaint, you, know, you say, oh, what happened? I'm so sorry to hear that. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? So that way people feel like their voice is being, being heard because if the people feel like they're not being heard, then they redress their grievances and then you know people let you know that they, they don't like what they're seeing. That's the biggest part of our, our country is people being able to redress their government. So their concerns need to be, you need to at least pretend like you care what those concerns are. Thank you for your feedback. So do you think that that could have been approached by you? They would have, or would, if someone else came in and they said, I'd like to make a formal complaint, would you have kind of done the same thing and just write it down? Or? We always have them put their complaint in writing because I personally wouldn't be addressing the complaint. It would be the board of selectmen. People, you know, the board of, the representative of the elected body just to be like, hey, tell me about what happened. It makes things a lot easier. Because that, that guy could have just lost his job real easy. I mean, he's just an assessor. I'm, I've had cops and state reps fired. It'd be easy. Now, sometimes it's easier to just be like, you know, we care. What can I do for you? And kind of like the old saying, tuck your tail between your legs and just own it. That's the big thing. So. Well, I think we can go out. Uh, yeah, we'll go out this door. Hey, grab that door for me. Yep. Have a great day. Um, right on. Ooh, I did not see that. Unfortunately, that's one of the inherents of your foot being numb. <laughs> A lot of old cemetery. Um, headstones from back in the day. Rally Public Library. Look, they have a uh, book on Lady Liberty.
Hello. You can literally read everything. I gotta tell you that the galaxy is just the camera. Like, I mean, just for that. I mean, you literally gotta pause, continue. It's just not inside the whole galaxy. Good afternoon. Library director. They got computer resources so you can research or do things on the internet. If you guys want, you can pause the video and you can read the library rules. And of course, they still have DVDs in the library. Film. I already said that. I'm sorry. There's no expectation of privacy in public.
This is pretty good. Oh, look, guys. Everybody comes to the library to do certain things, you know, study, work. Mine is my truck is stuck. My truck is stuck. I have not read that one. Yeah, it's Is that what I think it is? Is that like a reference rack? No, those are just our returns. Oh, okay. I remember the old days when they had oh, the, the yes. index or you can look the up catalog, certain things. Yeah. 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 Those are the good old days. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Wow. I always, I always ask before I come in, just because there's like, at their age, like they're already retaining more than they can. They're there at no age to understand what the, you know, like what the first amendment is or anything. Like, so I just usually ask. Yeah, no, no, you're good. There's no one in here. You guys are pretty nice. The last time I came here, there was like some seriously like old. Look, guys, Connect Four. That's a large scale Connect Four with a tiny shopping cart. That is so cute what they do for the kids. And they have really, really cool books. I'm sure I read quite a few of these books growing up. Books make good friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me uh, jump over here. Detectors yeah, here for rent. Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, this, these areas, you find a lot of stuff from the Revolutionary War. Like casting, musket ball, and all that stuff. So, all right. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'd be popular in this area. Mm -hmm. You never know what, what you're going to find. Have a good day, sir. Okay. 
by myself to step down. Oh, excuse me. And I haven't even ate yet. I'm sorry. Coffee is a great thing. Look at this. Very old cemetery, guys. All right, that's it here in Raleigh. Massachusetts and this is 702 that's accountability for all and we'll see you on the next one bye for now